Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think that uh, the West is trying to resuscitate Ukraine, uh, and I think Ukraine leadership is at the verge of collapsing. The I would say uh, the civil war between Zaluzny, the military, and Zelensky, the clown politician, is in full swing. And it, I made a, a video a minute ago where uh, Zelensky confirms that his competitor Zaluzny uh, is around and uh, warns him to stay up out of politics. So that tells me there's a big problem over there. But that's not only the sign that there's a problem in, um, in Ukraine. <clears throat> For the past um, seven days or eight days, we had a number of very important officials showing up in Kiev trying to defuse something. They gave us, they, the mass media, gave us all kind of narratives. They came over there to uh, make love to uh, Zelensky or something like that, but that's not what it is. They came to defuse something, and I think they showed their allegiance to Zelensky. Why? Because today, after all these arrivals and visits, I will name them one by one. There are about five or six. Uh, big dignitary, not presidents, this is a problem, not presidents, military, intelligence, this guy, this kind of people. Uh, after all these meetings with Zelensky and one, which is Lloyd Austin, met with Zaluzny, Zelensky came out today and said, uh, Zaluzny, you should stay out of politics, otherwise uh, daddy comes and smack you, smacks you. So let's get uh, to this one. First, which is the newest, happened today, right here. Ukrainska Pravda, German defense minister, arrives in Kiev. Now, this is from the uh, Tuesday, the 21st of November. I will go chronologically back. So, this is the newest idiot showing up. He is not the chancellor, the politician. He is a defense minister. Shows up in Kiev. Okay, remember, this guy, right? Pistorius. German defense minister. Boris Pistorius has arrived in Kiev in the early morning of 21st November on an unannounced visit. Unannounced. He's not the only one. Not the only one. I'm going to go now. Let's go back actually uh, to the first, uh, the first one who showed up. So I'm going to take it actually chronologically, not from uh, uh, present going back. So BBC. David Cameron makes first official visit to Ukraine. This is on the 16th of November, 2023. You, you could say, well, see, this is a politician. Yeah, but you know what's strange? This guy, the idiot, the failed prime minister, he came up, comes up to this weasel. He comes out in his first day of our being in the office, appointed, mind you, from outside into the government, just because he... Um, resigned because he was doing such a good job, right? Remember? He resigned as a prime minister and now he is taken and put him back as a foreign minister. Mr. James Cleverer moved away to the defense ministry, I think he is, and now he took his spot. The failure gets the position. So what will you have? Well, we're going to find out. So, he, this guy came on the 16th, the first day on his job, he showed up in Kiev. Now that sounds like an emergency, don't you think? And this is the 16th. Then we have this one. Actually, put this one right here. Oh, right here. US prepares Zelensky removal. I made uh, a video on the 16th. CIA boss secretly lands in Kiev. So this is one of the articles. CIA boss, November 14th. So that actually was before Cameron. Heads to for the day in Kiev as Ukraine falters. So CIA boss comes unannounced secretly, then comes this guy, Cameron, right? I made a video on uh, both Cameron and uh, CIA boss. And then we have this, and then we go to the next one. The next idiot is this. U.S. Defense Secretary Austin makes surprise visit to Kiev to re-emphasize support for Ukraine. So it's a surprise. This is a uh, where is it? A secret uh, visit from CIA boss, right? And then you have David Cameron. The first day in office shows up over there. Now there's three people. If you think that that doesn't 
um, Yale emergency and I'm not over Red Rover wait we got more than that so we go to Cameron now we go to this guy to the German one who shows up that's another one that's a military right defense and then we got this one European Council president arrives in Kiev for talks with Zelensky why so Europe United States of America so Europe United States of America sends the Pentagon and the CIA chiefs then you got the German defense minister I'm waiting for the French but the French are busy in uh, in Armenia right now they want to start a war over there and, and then you had what David Cameron from Great Britain everybody is going on and I'm not over I'm not over Red Rover so you see this guy this guy right here Michel he sounds very very strange this is Michel the guy that you see in this picture right here he is the European Council I, I can't can't I don't know can't pinpoint this guy's appearance but sounds and looks very familiar with this guy now you know who this guy is I know both of these guys but they look very similar to me I can't pinpoint uh, the connection but this is Denis Shmihal he's the Prime Minister of um, Ukraine appointed by Zelensky so this guy really looks like this guy <laughs> like you can tell 95 percent they're the same guy so this is Shmihal this is Michel all right so you tell me there's a not, not an emergency over there in Kiev I think it is and as I said I made a video of a before this one with uh, Zelensky coming out and warning the military and specifically Zaluzny to stay out of politics now after he got visited by all these guys he got the balls to say it that means he and we knew that he got the support of the Americans because he's their man not Zaluzny Zaluzny is Ukrainian so you would expect him to uh, uh, stop the flow of Ukrainian people's blood in a war that cannot be won so he said well we're not gonna push and continue to work for those guys over there and there's their interest Al Capone's and his buddies you see who's visiting okay European Union Great Britain Germany and United States all right so when you see all these things you kind of realize who's behind this the order is Al Capone by far then you got the house servant in the on the plantation uh, Great Britain then you got the plantation people the rest which is Germany uh, France and the rest cutting you know sugar cane on the plantation and so on this is how the hierarchy goes in the plantation Al Capone's plantation so yes that's an emergency Zelensky is supported by those guys Z Zaluzny seems to have seems to be in a, a civil war it's gonna be a little a real insurrection you know what I mean real not uh, January 6th uh, blah 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 you yeah that's gonna be a real insurrection with weapons with departments fighting one another Zelensky's got the intelligence apparatus on his side Zelensky's got the secret police SBU um, they call it different the security blah, blah blah those are on Zelensky's side until they realize Zelensky loses or the Americans tell them hey stop and then those guys are gonna switch and gonna go on the other side you can't win against the military who uh, FBI CIA against the US military that's why the hierarchy here is the big interest over there that use the military industrial complex they have the guns which together with the intelligence community they got the information plus the guns and then they have the politicians and then they have the money for the politicians they have the money the guys on top the pyramid for the mass media which they also own all right they are the majority uh, uh, shareholders so what do you expect <laughs> I have a say over there no so that's the way it goes and at the bottom is us like in a matrix us they suck our energy by how by having us work and taxing us and the energy goes to them which is money and products goes to the military goes to wherever these guys decide to promote those interests goals around the globe and they knocked uh, with the interest of uh, Russia and China and other countries other lions on this planet and that's why we have with the garbage in Ukraine so Zaluzny I'm pretty sure knows that 100% so I said okay enough it's enough we're half of the population we were he knows exactly what's going on on the front so he said man man we are just uh, done 
and the other guys are pushed by Al Capone and say, no, you're not done because we Ukrainians like uh, Zhmihal and uh, Zelensky and Yermak and uh, the defense minister, the Tatar, I can't remember his name, Dan Danlov, 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 Dinov, they are pushing the Ukrainian nation to extinction. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.